Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review for you today. This is Lord Dreg. As you can see here, it says he is the ruler of Planet Sectoid. He looks pretty cool. He's kind of a purplish bluish color and parts of him are kind of translucent so we'll take a closer look at that. Um, if you would like to read his bio here on the back, I'll zoom in for a second. You can go ahead. There we go. Uh, also taking a look on the back here, it shows the four turtles in their kind of space armor. There we go. Otherwise, we have Savage Mikey, which I really want to find. Mondo Gecko, which I really want to find. Fugitoid. Uh, most of these other figures we've seen already. The two Mutant Shredders and Mozar the Triceraton. Everything else we've seen before, but pretty cool. So we'll go ahead, we'll get this guy out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so taking a closer look at Lord Dreg out of the packaging. Uh, I like his coloring, but I definitely have a few problems with the figure. As far as, uh, we'll just start with articulation first. Articulation's actually pretty good. Head can move uh, from side to side. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. It's kind of limited, though. He does have waist articulation. Arms are kind of standard for Ninja Turtle figures with the hinge and then the rotation all the way around. Then he's got these kind of second little hands, which can move around. But they pretty much get, well, oh no, I'm sorry, they have an extra, they're kind of like a little ball joint. So they can kind of move around a little bit here. It almost looks like it wants to, okay, so that's how it works. That's just a, a fixed ball joint in there, and then this just pops right on there. So that's how that works, which is nice. I mean, you can move it all the way around, you know, up and down a little bit. So there's nice movement there for the second little extra arm. For the legs... Uh, they kind of have similar to the shoulders where they have the hinge in and out and it can move around. But he has these wings on the back, which they don't even open. They're one solid piece of plastic, almost like it's supposed to be like a cape. But they really just get in the way of everything. Honestly, they're terrible. I kind of want to... Can I pop these out? Yeah, okay. So these are just a ball joint, as you can see here, just on a stick. I'm throwing them to the side because they get in my way when I'm trying to do everything. I really like these legs. He's also got a tail which just swivels around so it can hang down. But I kind of like to put the tail out like this. I think that looks kind of cooler. Um, but his hands are so huge and, and bulky compared to his feet that he's very top heavy. And the way these legs make him want to stand something kind of like that. Which, once you can get him in a pose, it's not bad. Something like that. But just kind of any movement, if you put the hands like this, and he kind of wants to... Well, he's, he's cooperating now because I'm talking about it, which is good. I'd rather he cooperate. But just see how... You can see how all the weight's distributed towards the front. Just making him naturally top-heavy. And, like, the slightest touch, and he just wants to go down. And I think that's just... It's a weird way the legs are done. Like, I love the design of the legs. I really do. But then... Maybe somehow, like, put his waist a little bit forward so that he leans a little bit back. Just so that, or make his, his arms less, like, massive. Like, his arms are way bigger than his legs as far as thickness and weight. And you can't move the hands at all, so he's constantly doing this kind of, like, zombie Frankenstein pose with the hands. No wrist articulation. Nothing going on there. One thing cool to note, though... The torso, and I'll try to get in a little closer, it's kind of translucent. There's like some pinkish type plastic on the inside there. And then this is a little bit like translucent dark purple plastic. I think that's kind of cool. So you can kind of see his insides, but not so much that you could like, not like Muckman or anything like that, where you can really see inside. It's just kind of like a hint of what's inside. So, I like the figure, and I mean, I like the character. I remember him from the original cartoon. I don't think he was an insect, though. I think in the original cartoon, he was just kind of like a weird alien, and he was up in a ship. Uh, like, the last season or two of Ninja Turtles from the, you know, early 90s, mid-90s run, they kind of got rid of Shredder. I guess they're trying to change things up and make things darker in tone or something like that. And they had this weird alien, Lord Dreg, and he was up in a spaceship kind of orbiting Earth, and... The turtles wouldn't get in encounters with them. And they had extra mutations and they became big monsters and stuff. It was weird. So, the wing piece to me is garbage. 
I mean, you know, you might appreciate it more and that's perfectly fine, but I mean, if this, if it was like this, but they could flail out to the side, then I would be okay with it because then you could have them coming out to the side and the tail wouldn't be in the way and it would be great. I mean, as it stands, you can kind of, if I put this back in, you could have like one out to the side or pretend it's like a scarf or just like a cape blowing to the side, something like that. So, it's not a bad figure, but it definitely has some issues as far as top heaviness. And I think those wings are just kind of, just a wasted opportunity. I don't know if they just got cheap or what. Even if they had, like, if there was just a spot, like, maybe a second hole. Like, this one was just a little bit to the left and there's just a second hole. Just so that the wings would be independent. Like, if you could just put it down two wings like this, or you could flail them out for when he wants to fly, that would be great. I don't know why they decided to give him one. I guess they wanted it to be more like a cape, because he's, like, the ruler. And maybe he doesn't fight that much, but in the introductory episode for this character, he does plenty of fighting with the turtles. So I really don't understand. I mean, you have to put the legs pretty far back to get him to stand, and the wings get in the way of that, and the tail and the hands are just, it's just kind of a mess. I mean, he just wants to fall over. So while I think I like the figure as far as the design of the character and the color scheme and and him as a character, I like it. I just wish they gave a little bit more stability to these legs, and the wings were just handled differently in the ways that I've previously described. Maybe make these hands just a little bit less bulky, because he's just so it makes him so top-heavy. That's the only problem. Or give make the legs thicker. That could have been a possibility as well. Once you can get him to pose, he's not bad. He looks cool. I like his colors. You know, he's definitely a neat figure the character looks cool it's just getting him to stand and the wings are garbage but you guys let me know what you think in the comments below i'd love to hear your opinions uh please like and share this video please subscribe if you haven't already i hope you've enjoyed this look at lord dreg from the tmnt line and thanks for watching